In this video, I'm going to show you how to answer the 2023 Maths Method Sample Exam 1 Question 4. We've got consider the simultaneous equations below where a and b are real constants. Find the values of a and b for which the simultaneous equations have no solutions. Whenever you're approaching these types of questions, the first thing you want to do is rewrite the equations to make y the subject. And so doing this, for the first equation we're going to get y is equal to 3b minus a plus 3 times x and then we're going to divide by 9 and we want to write this in separate fractions. For the second equation, this is going to be y is equal to 5 minus 2x and then we want to divide by a and so again we want to write this in separate fractions. Now to have no solutions means that the two lines must be parallel, which means the gradient of the lines must be equal and the y-intercepts must be different. And so equating the gradients of these lines, this means that minus a plus 3 over 9 has to equal minus 2 over a. The two negatives will cancel out and then cross multiply we're going to get a times a plus 3 is going to equal 18. Expanding this and rearranging it we're going to get a squared plus 3a minus 18 is equal to 0. And now factorizing this this is going to be a plus 6 times a minus 3 is equal to 0. And so this means a is equal to minus 6 or a is equal to 3. And so when a is equal to minus 6 or when a is equal to 3, we're going to have the gradient of these lines to be the same, which satisfies the first condition. From here what we need to do is equate the y-intercepts, which is these two constants, and to make sure that they are not equal. And so if we let a is equal to minus 6, then the y-intercepts are going to be 3b over 9 is equal to 5 over minus 6. Solving for b, this is going to become minus 5 on 6 multiplied by 9 over 3. And so this will become a 1, this will become a 3, and this will cancel out to be 1, and this will become a 2. And so the value of b is going to equal minus 5 on 2. This means when b is equal to minus 5 on 2, we're going to have the same y-intercept when a is equal to minus 6. And so when a is equal to minus 6, b cannot equal minus 5 on 2. But it can equal any other number. And now we need to test the value of a when it's equal to 3. And so the y-intercept is going to be 3b over 9, and this is going to equal 5 on 3. Solving for b, b is going to equal 5 on 3 times 9 on 3. And so the two 3s will cancel out with a 9, and so the value of b is going to be 5. And so when b is equal to 5 and a is equal to 3, we're going to get the same y-intercept. And so when the value of a is equal to 3, the value of b cannot equal to 5, but it can equal any other number. And that's it for this question. Now if you guys want to practice and learn exam style questions similar to this one, then join the Maths Methods Club where you can group past Maths Methods exam questions by topic. For simultaneous equations, just click on Algebra from the main topics and then Simultaneous Equations from the subtopics and then click on Filter. This is then going to instantly group all the past Maths Methods exam questions where it's asking you about simultaneous equations. Now there's a mix of tech free and tech active questions. Try out these questions and see how you go. And if you get stuck, you can just watch the video solutions. Good luck and I'll see you guys in the next video.